2023 was the 50th year anniversary of the release of that album. I've spent every one of those 50 years trying to undo the damage caused by the title of that album. Chuck, got another one. Okay. It's in our culture. There's no, there's no escaping it. Some percentage of people who walk this earth, when asked, would be sure that there's such a thing as the dark side of the moon. Yeah, that's where the Transformers hide out. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I thought it was just the other side of the moon. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so the dark side of the moon, I think, hit a peak in 1973. Do you know what happened then? Uh, did Pink Floyd put out an album? Pink Floyd put out an album. Because that, that would do it. And, you know, the album did really well. See, yeah. that's the problem. If, if people hated the album, my job would have been way easier because no one would have been brainwashed by it. Exactly. 2023 was the 50th year anniversary of the release of that album. I've spent every one of those 50 years trying to undo the damage caused by the title of that album. See, now what you should have done is just, you know, you should have took Pink Floyd out the same way you took out Pluto. <laughs> wouldn't have to. Would not have to worry about this. <laughs> get get a, authoritative legislation. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, dark side of the moon is now dwarf side of the moon. Whatever. <laughs> so now, if you if you listen to the title track like with headphones, the very last sentence, the very last two sentences, you know what they are? I do not. Okay, but you got to listen because there's a lot of fadey kind of music in the, in all, all of those tracks. So you listen. And it's fine. it says at the end, there is no dark side of the moon. There is no dark side in the moon, really. Problem solved. Well, People just listen to the song. However, there's a sentence that follows it. Oh, of course, <laughs> there has to be. Matter of fact, it's all dark. Oh, oh, oh that's okay. a little more philosophical. It's a little more philosophical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So then I said, I can't get on a case too much here because that's just being poetic. Yeah. Well. And but anyhow, there are people who still think that the other side of the moon never sees sunlight. True. Which is interesting for anybody to think that because you've never seen the far side th that side of the moon. So why would you even conclude that? The moon does always show the same face to Earth and when we talk locking. about tidal locking. That's right. right. So the other side of the moon gets as much sunlight as the near side. So there's a far side and a near side. And a day on the moon lasts 30 days, 30 Earth days. So there's like 15 days of sunlight and 15 days of darkness. Gotcha. So yeah, so moon has days just as we do. But so I, you see, had you thought about it, Chuck, when you see a half moon, in the right. sky? Right. Wouldn't you think that like the half you don't see on the other side is also getting sunlight, right? Right. Wouldn't you? Well, I mean, isn't that how shadows work? <laughs> <laughs> shadows and round and things. Shadows and round <laughs> things kind of work that way, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. So that should that should have people should have been tipped off by that. Right. Uh, so here's the thing. When the Indians uh, landed their for, that their first successful landing on the moon, becoming the fourth country Just, to yes. do so right. from the Soviet Union back in the day, and the United States. By the way, Soviet Union got there first. Soviet Union beat us at everything until we put humans on the moon. Then we said we win. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey man, that's how you got. That's how you win. You change the rules. <laughs> Shoot, cha change the goalpost. Change, change, move the goalposts and change the rules, man. <laughs> You know? Put the goalposts where you're standing, and then you win. So yeah, they beat us at the first. They had the first satellite, the first non-human animal, the first human, the first woman. And then we were just like, none of that counts, okay? Because <laughs> we put the first dude. <laughs> Russia even had the first black person who was a Cuban. Uh, he was a Cuban, dark okay. skinned Cuban. Dark skinned yeah. Cuban, yeah, right? Yeah. So, anyhow, so we, so they became the fourth country to do this. And, but what's more significant than that, because that, that would just be, okay, welcome to the club, all right? They landed near the moon's South Pole. And the South Pole, I think we talked about in a previous yes. explainer, uh, you have the bases of craters. The sun never gets high enough in the sky because near the poles, the sun is, stays low, stays so low that sunlight never reaches the bottom of the crater. 
And so it's it's literally where the sun don't shine. Yeah. Okay. There are literal dark places on the moon. Right. Okay. All right. So here's the thing. The Indian spacecraft landed not in the bottom of a crater, because that's that it's it has solar panels and it needs energy. So it landed outside the crater, but in darkness. And so why would they do that? Well, here's what they did. They landed on the last day of nighttime. Ah, the 30th day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> on the last day of nighttime, so that the next day the sun rose, and how much daylight do they get? They get 15 days now. They get 15 days. So it's a, it's a two-week mission. Not, that was yes. so smart. Yes. Ah, yes. That's really cool. Yeah, so, so you now they that, have two weeks to go look for their ice or whatever. And yeah, yeah, the water, uh, water is be frozen, of course. Frozen That's water, right. Yeah, yeah, and so uh, yeah, it's smart people are people who figure this stuff out. And as a matter of fact, it is rocket science, right? Because they have to leave Earth so that they landed there at that time. That's right. That's <clears> okay. right. Okay. So, so oh, so my point is, there were some Indian headlines that said. Um, Chandrayaan three, which is the name of that mission, landed on in, on the dark side of the moon. Oh, yeah. See, oh. so they got they got caught up in that. Yeah, but that wasn't the Indian space program saying that. It was the journalists who Correct. don't understand. Right. That there so is apparently, no Pink Floyd's album had worldwide influence that I didn't know about. Yeah. Well, the album sales could have told you that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up? Chuck Nice here. You know, I'm doing my first science-themed comedy special. Now, don't worry. I'm not going to try to make you learn something. I stress education so much in my home, my children think that I am an Indian parent. <laughs> <laughs> but if you do learn something, that's totally fine. My special is called Chuck Nice, Just Smart Enough. It's taping at the Midnight Theater on November 17th and 18th here in Manhattan. So go to ChuckNiceComic.com, pick up your tickets, and then come to the show. And guess what? Stupid people are welcome too. So uh, I think they might have seen it landed in the dark, and then moon right. and the word dark becomes dark side, dark of, the side moon. of moon. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so... Uh, so you might ask, well, how cold is it where the sun don't shine? Oh, how cold is it where the sun yeah, don't shine? Hundreds of degrees below zero. And that makes things difficult, doesn't it? <laughs> and so, th so this water, which would have arrived by comets, you know, moon's been hit by stuff. Yeah. Like, in case you didn't notice the, yeah. the, 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 the acne. That's the why the man. In, yeah, that's why the man in the moon's face looks like a pepperoni pizza. <laughs> What a terrible saying. The guy looks like he's like got some serious hormonal problems going on. <laughs> some teenage acne yeah, issues. The man in the moon is not getting a date to the prom. That's all I'm saying. It's going to be tough. Really, It's rough. It's rough. You need a little Accutane. So, uh, so because there's no atmosphere to smooth out the hot places and the cold places, because uh -huh. what happens is in our air, our air sort of captures the heat once the sun heats the ground, and it moves that around. Right, that doesn't happen on the moon. So, uh, where the sun is shining, it's two hundred degrees above zero. You can sit out with a cup of water and boil it. Right. And in the in the where the sun doesn't shine, it's hundreds of degrees below zero. Really, if you're there, the side of you facing the sun is going to be hot, and the side of you not facing the sun will rapidly cool off. So, ideally, you should go on a rotisserie. All right, <laughs> like Boston chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bob, I'm saying there's a reason for spacesuits to be reflective, typically, right, okay? Right. Because you want to be in full control of what's going on. So, of course, they had, you know, those big packs that were on the, the, the astronauts' backs. Half of that, I don't know half, but a big part of it was the cooling system that keeps them at the right temperature so they don't bake or freeze. Nice. And one other thing before we end this. Uh, because there is no atmosphere, that means there is no skylight. There's no blue sky in the daytime. The daytime sky is just dark. All right. So the only source of light are direct sight lines from the sun. So if you're standing there, Chuck, and 
you, part of you is in shadow. Unless some light is reflecting off the lunar terrain, it is pitch dark in the shadows of rocks and in your shaft. Pitch dark. Wow. In broad daylight. So that makes for fascinating contrasty photos when this happens. Yes, you can get a reflection off the, off the lunar module, okay? But the general ambient light we take for granted when you walk around in the daytime is not there on the moon. Look at that. Yeah. That's cool. So, so Chuck, there is no dark side of the moon. That's all I got to tell you. Well, there you go. Pink Floyd, you're a bunch of dummies. <laughs> so, Chuck, I was actually at a party one day when I met Roger Waters. Very cool. Yeah. And yeah, you told yeah. him that there was no dark side? I had to, Chuck, I had to. And, I couldn't remain silent. And, and what, what was his he, response? He was not sympathetic <laughs> oh, that makes sense he's like bro i'm getting paid off this you got a gravy train going. yeah i got a nice little racket going here with this dark side of the moon thing and you are <laughs> messing it up i'm gonna need you to silence i'm gonna I'm, I'm, don't, <laughs> don't make me take out a gag order on you neil <laughs> <laughs> but anyhow the, you know this the job of the educator never ends i think that's what's going on here as long as there are forces of untruths that pervade the world okay well, look how poetic you are uh, i was about to say as long as there are ignorant dumbasses <laughs> <laughs> the job of the educator shall not be finished <laughs> all right that's all i got for you on the dark side of the moon okay all right uh, all right as always i bid you to keep looking up 